Hello my crafty loving friends, welcome to Purpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today I have this trash to treasure box. I got this at my local dump, it was set aside. Somebody didn't want to actually throw it away, they just didn't want it anymore. So I snagged it up because I really love these handles and the metal brackets on the corners. And I just, I couldn't leave it behind, I had to, to get it. It was full of little trinkets, not trinkets, but little stickers and uh, seeds and things like that. So I cleaned it all out and I'm cleaning the outside, as you can see, getting all the uh, stickers and yuckiness off the best that I can. It's still really dirty looking, so it's going to get a really cool paint job. So first I'm gonna start with my base coat, which is this Waverly black paint. Any black paint will do if you're doing something like this. I just need a base coat so that when I sand back the piece, I get this black uh, undertone underneath it uh, that will peek through my paint. So I'm gonna do this all over. Uh, I did one and a half coats, and when I say a half coat, I did one full coat all over it, and then the half coat is just touch up on places where you can see through the paint maybe it's not quite as thick so I just went back and touched up little spots here and there. Now after that was all dry I took my clear Rust-Oleum spray paint and sealed the piece in so that I would be able to sand that back and the black would stay there if I hadn't sealed it. Sometimes it comes right off and goes right down to the base coat uh, or the main paint coat so I wanted to make sure that I had some black showing through. I wanted to show you here this I tried to use soap as a resist for my next layer of paint and it didn't work as good as the petroleum jelly or Vaseline uh, does so uh, I ended up just sanding it back. Picked up this brand new bottle of fusion mustard paint and I want to start doing a few things in mustard and I have mixed my own before but um, this one I just I just love the color of it so I thought I'd pick it up. Now this is very yellow. It does look like mustard, like I'm painting with mustard. Uh, but at the end, we're gonna darken this up with some uh, antique wax. So it's gonna look really old and uh, aged. Once it's dry, I tried wiping it back and, and trying to remove some of that mustard paint by the with the resist method from my soap that I used. And it did not work very well. So I ended up just grabbing a piece of sandpaper and sanding it down the way I wanted it in, in the spots that I wanted it. I have this decoupage paper that is left over from uh, another project that I had. And I had just enough so that I could measure it out. And I want to cover the inside so when you open it, you have this nice surprise inside and it, finish it off, finishes it off really nicely. So I'm just using the outside as, as like a template of how big I want it. And I'm just cutting that down. And then I'm going to uh, use Mod Podge and seal that or put that down so it will stick. So it's just a nice layer of Mod Podge here. And then I'm going to take my piece and put it in. I really love how this comes out. And I wanted to, once it was dry, I was going to go back and uh, distress it with some distressing spray and like darken it up and make it look aged. And I didn't have to. Between the color of the decoupage paper and the color of the background, it darkened up on its own. So when you open it up, it's got a, a bit of a darker color to it that I really liked. And I thought it came out great. I tidied up a couple of the edges that were a little bit too long on the top and the bottom. And then once that was all cleaned up, I took a, another bunch of Mod Podge and did a nice coat on there to seal it in. Now 
Okay, here's the part that I love. I took some of my darker antique wax that I mix up. It's just antique wax water and a little bit of black paint. And I put it over the top of the mustard paint on the box. And I'm just showing here, I didn't do all of it so that you could see the difference. I love the color difference. It darkens up that mustard color and makes it more of a Dijon mustard, I guess you could say. Um, so for some reason, I'm getting hungry watching this video. <laughs> uh, and so you can see the difference where there was a brighter yellow there where I didn't put the wax. And now I'm just gonna cover it all over. I'm gonna do the whole box and uh, then wipe it all back. And I just love the aged look that this gives and that dark wax just goes down in those crevices and makes it look a little bit primitive and vintage. I have these little wooden uh, round pieces that I got, I don't know, out of a bag of all kinds of different things. And I found four of the same so that I could glue them to the bottom and put little feet on this box. I thought it would add a nice touch to lift it up off from wherever it's sitting. And I just stained it up and then used E6000 and a little bit of hot glue to glue these on. And then this piece is finished. Hey guys, I'm starting a new project on this table. I got it at Goodwill for $10. It's a cute little side end table. Um, got a little shelf down at the bottom. It's got a few nicks and dings, which I love. It gives it the character. And the top has got water stain and uh, just all kinds of weird little stains on it. And it's a little bit warped, which is fine for me. But um, what I want to do is sand down this top and then uh, I'm going to clean up the bottom, tape off the top and put paper on the top and then you just to cover it. And then I'm going to uh, paint the bottom. I have 220 sandpaper and I'm going to start with that and we'll see how that goes. So I love how this is sanding down and it's still leaving these gouges and nicks. I mean, this is stuff that you want to recreate when you're, when you're doing stuff with tables and furniture. So I'm not going to sand down too, too far, but I do want to get kind of this orangish color off and get this all so I can give it a nice brownish stain. So I think that'll look good and but i don't want to go too far and get rid of all these nicks and dings because i think they'll be they'll be great So after I cleaned up the base and taped off and masked off the top, I flipped it upside down and I'm giving it a good coat of Rust-Oleum Black Flat Black Spray Paint. Uh, just 
going over it with a light coat. It's very difficult. I was doing this outside and if I don't know if you can tell, but the wind was just horrendous out here. But I wanted to do this outside and get this done so I could get it into my booth. So we have to make sacrifices. <laughs> So I just sprayed it all down with one coat and then I just walk around it as it dries to see if I need to add any more and I just touch it up where it needs to be. I took off the paper and then gave it a good sand and a nice heavy distress. That's what sells in my booth and that's what I love. So we're going to go with it. And I did that all over. And then once that was done, I grabbed my antique wax uh, it's straight from the bottle, as you can see here. And just with a brush, I'm going to brush it on. And then I will wipe it back so you can see what it looks like. I like this brownish color better than the previous orangey color that was coming through uh, on the stain that they had on there. And I think it looks really nice with the, with the black base. Show you the difference between uh, waxed and not waxed. See on here, it's very dry and it's got like a white film on it. So I'm going to take some of my wax. I'm going to just do half. I'm going to put it on. Okay. So now we're going to wipe it off and see the difference of the antique wax on one side and not on the other. See how it brings out the color and it takes away that that white. I don't know if you can see it really well or not. You can see this side is the wax side and this side is like the filmy white side. So then when I wipe it back, it leaves this nice, deeper brown and a darker black color. I really like it. I hope you enjoyed my thrift flip of the table and my primitive trash to treasure little box that I got. And let me know down in the comments if you like them and if you have a favorite. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great day.